welcome to week 15. It is Monday morning. It is May the 8th, I believe. Um, and yeah, I just got a workout done. I did a two mile run and then I did a 40 minute lift. I was just craving a lift. Um, I haven't really this past week after running that half marathon, I just hadn't wanted to run at all. Um, but I might try to bike later. Um, I do have to work, but we'll see what goes on. I am very tired. It is very cold outside and it was raining this morning. I wanted to bike outside and run outside today, but it was just rainy and I didn't want to get sick. Um, this week will be interesting. I'm going to try to stick to my training plan as much as possible. I was supposed to bike 60 miles today, but that didn't happen because it is cold and rainy outside. So I just did this little workout at the gym and now I'm going to go home. I have prepped all my breakfast is this week and then I'm gonna go home and actually food prep for either lunch or dinner um, I like to give myself well I like cooking and so it's, it's very therapeutic to me I think um, I just like being in the kitchen and so I'm gonna food prep a little bit but I also like to give myself the creativity to make something on the spot um, if I'm feeling it and so I'm going to maybe prep what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight while I'm at work so I will just catch you guys tomorrow for I think I have to swim tomorrow so I will see you guys then good morning it is Tuesday May 10th and I finished a workout for today I did a 1500 swim um, that's the distance that my Olympic um, triathlon is gonna be this Saturday and so I did that in just under 25 minutes I'm not sure if that's good or not but I swam the whole thing completely through in 25 minutes as you can see it is raining outside I was gonna bike and then run outside again today but it's raining. What is up with this weather? Uh, but now I'm at the grocery store and I'm gonna pick up some stuff so I can make it for lunch and prep my dinner because I work tonight. Um, I really wish work would be called off, but you know what? You do what you gotta do. So I will catch you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Hey guys, it is Thursday, May 12th. It is actually my mom's birthday today, so a happy birthday, mom. Um, I haven't really been up to date with you guys in a couple days. I just have been lacking motivation 100% um, I actually leave for Muncie tomorrow um, We're driving up there. I think it's about a three-hour drive. I went to um, Do just a quick little bike on my bike, but my gears weren't changing properly So I actually just took my bike to get it looked at um, the guys at the store were able to fix it um, But it's raining outside, so I, I don't want to go out and like actually test it, but I'm trusting that it's fixed and everything. Hopefully tomorrow morning I'll be able to get it out and just, you know, ride it around our street a little bit. Just, you know, get a feel for it and make sure that it's actually properly working. Um, what else? I haven't done like an actual workout since the swim on Tuesday, I believe. Um, I'm just, I don't know. I just haven't been eating the greatest and I'm just really nervous and... It kind of sucks because I don't know if I'm ready for this Olympic distance triathlon on Saturday. <sighs> I'm stressing myself out. Um, I'm breaking out right here. But yeah, I still have to pack in everything. And like I said, we're leaving tomorrow. Um, I'll try to, I don't know if I'll get a workout in tomorrow. Maybe I'll try to do some warm-ups. I think they have a open swim tomorrow. It's going to be wetsuit legal, so I have to bring my wetsuit. I haven't tried swimming in it yet, so hopefully that goes well. A whole bunch of nerves, but I just got to remember that it's just like another training day. This is why I signed up for it to, you know, you know, train for the half Ironman that I'm doing in July. So I think I will just catch you guys later. I have a bunch of packing I have to do, and I'm going to try to do some stretching also. So I will hopefully see you tomorrow when I'm in in Muncie, Indiana. Good morning, everyone. I am not in Muncie quite yet. I woke up early. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath. And I just did two and a half miles here at the park. Um, I wanted to get something in before I sat in the car for about three hours. Um, maybe I'll try to do a few loops on my bike as well, just to make sure everything is up and going and running smoothly. But I just wanted to check in and said I did two and a half miles. And then in about four hours, we're gonna leave for Muncie, Indiana, check into our hotel, go to the athlete check-in, pick up everything that I need. Um, and I think there's a practice swim tonight in the open waters. So it'll be exciting. And I'm gonna take you guys with me and I will hopefully catch you when I'm in Muncie. Made it to 
to the hotel and we are currently locked out of our room. So I'm just sitting here waiting. We finally got into the room. Turns out you had to lift up on the door handle instead of down. Who would have thought? So now I'm going to eat some lunch and then we are going to go to the athlete check-in to check in and just make sure everything's going smoothly. times warmer in my wetsuit but it's gonna be interesting Sunday. It is the day after my event and it's the last day of training week 15. I am actually going to probably take today off just to kind of relax and recover. My left leg is pretty sore behind my knee and on my ankle, um, but I'm sure I'll be fine within a couple days. I just wanted to update you on the event. So I did finish. Um, I think you saw my medal in the last clip. I got this really cool long sleeve um, quarter zip. Um, but yeah, Friday, the weather was absolutely gorgeous. It was in the 60s, it was pretty calm. And then overnight, the weather completely changed. It dropped down to about 30 degrees. There were um, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. As you saw, it was so windy and it was so cold. Everybody was freezing. I didn't pack any type of cold weather gear. Um, and so I was so nervous and then the very last minute, everyone was in their wetsuits um, for the Olympic distance, and the race director comes up to us and announces that um, the swim course, they actually shortened it the day before because they knew the winds were coming, and so we were going to do two laps of um, 750. Like I said, two laps of the 750, so swim a lap, get out of the water, run down the beach, and do another lap. Well, that morning, the race director came up to us and was like, the water is way too choppy for the boats to even go out there. So they actually decreased the amount of swim. So we ended up doing two laps of the sprint course swim. And so I was kind of a sigh of relief just because the water was so crazy and I was really scared. Yeah, I am a pretty good swimmer, but um, it was just it was just kind of scary and so we ended up swimming in 800 which I did in a breeze I thought at least I felt I was going a lot faster than everybody else in the water around me which was pretty good and it was very motivating um, the water was definitely way warmer than the outside air um, there was one point in the swim where I was wearing my wetsuit and I honestly felt like I was choking. Um, I thought I was like suffocating. It might have, I think it just got really tight around my neck at one point, but I got through it, got out of the water, ran up to transition. I was so cold. My feet were numb. I couldn't even feel them on the pavement running. Um, when I got up to transition, my older sister gave me the tip to stuff, um, like 
bags down my my cycling jersey just to kind of act like a windbreaker and so what I ended up doing I had a garbage bag I popped a, a hole in the top popped two holes for the arms I wore that under my cycling jersey just to break any wind I shoved some extra um, like Kroger bags the plastic bags down my jersey just to you know help keep the wind from just I don't know going right through me and that worked like a charm um they were very lightweight and they did the job I cycled it was a two loop course I did one loop and it went really well and then on the second loop there was probably about three miles where I was pedaling as hard as I could but I was going about seven miles per hour just because that's how strong the wind was just holding me back and so it was really tough um, got done with the bike, went through transition, um, got ready for the run, and my feet were still like frozen and numb from just waiting to start the entire race and from biking. And they probably finally thawed out around mile two of the run. Um, the run was, it was okay. It wasn't my best. My goal was to get the run done under an hour and 10 minutes, and I got it done in about an hour and two minutes. I did do a lot of walking on it. I kind of would trick myself and like set little goals for myself like, oh, if I can run to that tree, I can walk to the next tree. And that kept me going. And so I didn't walk the whole thing. I ran most of it. My first mile was definitely the fastest, probably because my legs and my feet were so numb. I just kind of went. Um, but it was rolling hills. And so I would kind of run to the bottom of a hill, walk up it, run down and to the bottom of the next hill. Um, but yeah, I finished. It definitely wasn't as fun as an Ironman race just because there weren't many people out there cheering for you. It just was a whole different vibe. And so I definitely preferred doing the Ironman races just because the crowd there is just so invigorating and motivating. But I got it done and I'm rambling. And I will probably just catch you guys at the end of next week. I think I'm going to end it here. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And yeah, I look forward to training all of next week. So I will catch you guys then. Bye, guys. So I completely forgot to mention that I finished the entire race in two hours and 56 minutes, which was under my projected time of four hours. Um, it was actually an hour and four minutes under what I was expecting. So even if I would have done the full swim, I think... I still would have been under three hours and 30 minutes, which I'm so excited about, even with, you know, the winds, the rain, and the absolutely freezing temperatures out there. So I just wanted to let you guys know what my time was, and yeah, I will catch you guys at the end of next week.